Ferrari, under their new team boss, Frederick Vasseur, will be looking to bounce back from another disappointing season in 2022. And to do that, Vasseur and the Ferrari head office must give their drivers the best car and the mindset to work with. And it seems as though Vasseur isn't doing such a good job of the latter, as he has announced that extending Charles Leclerc's stay with the Maranello-based team isn't a priority. So, what is Vasseur's reasoning behind this? Well, that's what you're going to find out, should you decide to stick around. Leclerc is still on his five-year contract with the team that he signed back in 2019. At the time, signing such a lengthy contract was unheard of in the sport of Formula One. That is, until Red Bull's Max Verstappen eclipsed Charles, who is locked in with Red Bull till 2028. With Leclerc's contract coming to an end in less than two years, Ferrari fans might start to worry about his future. And the recent rumors linking him to a move to Mercedes won't do much to ease their nerves. Despite all that, new team principal Frederick Vasseur seems unfazed by the situation. He's got a long list of tasks to tackle and has only been on the job for a few weeks. So talks about renewing Leclerc's contract aren't at the top of his priorities. One could argue that it should be since Leclerc was Ferrari's frontman in 2022. Between him and his teammate Carlos Sainz, Leclerc was the one who had an actual shot at beating Max for the world title last season. Vasseur would explain his thought process and say, I don't want to put this topic on the table today. It wouldn't be a good way to start the collaboration, Vasseur said. We have to be focused on the sporting side to get results. He did, however, go on to hint that talks will take place at some point. But it's like a wedding. If both sides of the table are happy with the situation, then we will continue. But it's not the priority. We have a good relationship, and we'll have time to discuss about this. The only topic today is we have to be focused on pure performance and get results. Ferrari sees Leclerc as their future, and have kind of built their plans around him. A future I hope you and I can share if you hit the subscribe button before we continue on about Sean. At just 25 years old, he's got a lot of his F1 career left to go, but he's already got a good chunk of experience under his belt. Leclerc has been vocal on many occasions in the past that he does not see himself driving for any other team, but he'll want to make sure the team can provide him a solid foundation to make a run for the championship. If, by 2024, he feels like his chances of winning the title would be better with another team, he might consider leaving. But we must all remember that Leclerc and Vasseur presumably have a good relationship already built from their days working together at Alfa Romeo. Some folks think Carlos Sainz might get the short end of the stick if Vasseur shows favoritism, but the new team principal has already made it clear that there won't be a designated number one driver. And of the Spaniard, he also said, When I was at Renault, I started a discussion with Sainz and his management to attract him. And when I was at Zauber, I tried to sign him again without success. I trust him, and he's shown the last couple of years he is a potential winner, which is very important for the team. While we're on the topic of favoritism, former Ferrari driver Philippe Massa believes that the team has to prop Leclerc up to driver number one if the team has any hopes of winning a title next season. In 2022, Ferrari prided itself in not showing either Carlos or Leclerc a special type of treatment over the other. While for the driver's egos, this may be a good thing, Philippe would say that it is a necessary evil if they want to compete with the likes of Red Bull and Mercedes, who both definitely have a number one driver. Since taking the helm at Ferrari, Basur has also been asked if this is a necessary step to glory for the team. The Ferrari boss would respond with, I think it's the same everywhere, that we have two very good drivers and both of them are able to do the job. We will have the capacity to provide them with exactly the same car and the same structure and the same support. What is clear is that the target is to win with Ferrari. There will be no number one or number two. But if at one stage we have to take action, I will take action. It doesn't matter if it's one or the other. If at one stage in the season I have to do something, then I'll do it. Vasseur would also reveal that he has already had sit-downs with both of his drivers. 
saying that he spoke to both of them separately and then together. I would add that I was very positively surprised by the relationship between the two guys, he said. I had dinner with them separately, then all together, and we've had the chance to spend a lot of time together over the last few weeks. I have to say that compared to the Carlos I remembered, I found a more mature person. And the same goes for Charles after those years at Ferrari. I think the collaboration between them is much stronger than it appears from the outside. But even with a very PR-friendly statement from Vasur, Massa thinks that when the time comes for Vasur to make a decision, he's got Leclerc's back and believes the Monegasque should be the one gunning for the championship title on behalf of Ferrari. The car must be successful and the team functioning. The rest must be done by the drivers, he told Corriere dello Sport. After five or six races, you understand who's leading. Last year, after three Grand Prix, everything was already clear. Sainz was the best in his first year, but the car was not competitive. When the car was strong in 2022, Charles was clearly at the top. If he does the same this year, it will be difficult for Carlos to recreate the situation of 2021. Leclerc is one of the greatest drivers in Formula One for me. A key man like Max Verstappen is in Red Bull and like Lewis Hamilton was for Mercedes. Another former F1 driver in Juan Pablo Montoya believes that Leclerc will fall short again against Verstappen this season. And to add insult to injury, Montoya would say that he sees Sainz getting the best of him in 2023. Last season, Leclerc and Verstappen were neck and neck in the title race early on, but a combination of driver and team mistakes and technical issues allowed Verstappen to win eight of the final 10 races after the summer break. When asked to compare their chances of winning the 2023 championship, Montoya thinks that Verstappen's experience of already being a champion gives him a slight edge. I wouldn't say it's at the same level, because I think Charles is very good, but Max has more experience, Montoya told the Motorsport.com Spanish website. And I think that the more experience and more victories, and with the championship now under his credit, that takes away a lot of pressure. So it's much easier for Max to win the championship than for Charles, because Charles would go for his first. Despite Leclerc having the upper hand over Sainz within the team in 2022, Montoya thinks that Sainz has the potential to outperform Leclerc at Ferrari, and points to the fact that Sainz had a slight advantage in the standings when they were both with the Scuderia for the first time. And to tell the truth, if Carlos can be comfortable in the car, I think he can do a very good job. If we look at the old cars at the end of the year, not last year, but the previous year, Carlos was beating Charles every week. So it all depends on the comfort of the driver in the car. So what do you make of all this? Is Charles still the top dog at Ferrari? Or is this Vasseur's way of keeping the peace at Ferrari? Let us know in the comments section below. And, uh, Hit the subscribe button while you're at it.